is there is there any way like is there uh, is there a large enough keyhole to peek through or is there anything anything you could see through the the door um there's not a keyhole there's a very very small gap under the bottom which you can try and look through okay just looking oh. for feet then yep um the gap's not quite big enough to see very far down but there's certainly no one within 10 foot of the, of the door so there's no one actually in the corridor 8 um, you can't see down the far end of corridor 8 but certainly in the first half in the um, half, of corridor, half of corridor 8 that's nearest you there's no one okay fair enough Okay, so, so that means they're probably at the other end of it, or they're standing near one of the doors or something like that. Okay, so what do you think? Is it time for the ogre, or should we try something else first? Uh, um, DM, when we walked in, did we notice that this door was particularly um, squeaky or anything? Oh yeah, you could try opening it and peeking through. Um, yeah, all the doors are fairly squeaky, um, but they have not been oiled or maintained very well. Okay. Um, um, is God. there, um, did any of the guards have, like, anything to maintain their weapons? Or maybe something that could be used as oil in the spell component pouch? You'll have to and come back and check. Wait, can I That's ask? A good point. Yeah, well, I... I go back up and check because we uh, uh, we would uh, it would be to our advantage if we could check what's on the other side of the door. Can I we, say what, we, do, guards wear we do not want to get in a fight. We have the ogre for that. It's... Yes, exactly. So we want to as scout out as much of the area as we possibly can without being seen. Because then Do we may be no. Hear somebody on the other side of the door. We did, but we don't know who it was. How many of them were there? Everyone you hear is an enemy. Oh, well, true. There mm. are no bystanders in this case. There's us and there's them. That there are people. Yeah, I... that we want to avoid getting into a fight. Okay, you know what, fuck it. Is it time for the ogre? That's my vote, at least. Okay, okay, so what okay. do you say? Um, someone send the ogre to the top of the stairs, and everyone but me get the fuck out of the bottom area. I was... And on my signal, you send the troll through. Uh, that's me. The then. ogre, yeah. I'm the guy up Hang on, do I, to... do I need to pick the lock for the ogre to get out? Uh, yep. I oh, do okay, have right. a key, though. You do? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we looted the guards. Wait, who took yeah. the keys? Because you can I'm try that man. one. Well, I go and stand inside my cell with the cell door shut while you open up for the ogre. Yep, uh, I click the uh, um, key that you got open to see a, a, a thought out of the cell for uh, Grimjack. Grimjack walks out, nods at you. Thank you, Grimjack. Safe. You're welcome, Grimjack. Don't mind me. Now, as we, as we, he, as he walks by, I grin at him and like wave at him and go like, "Hi." He nods that you're not quite understanding what you're very excited about. Well, whatever. <laughs> Just trying to be <laughs> friendly. <laughs> um, yeah, but he doesn't seem to be particularly aggressive, considering he's an ogre and. Well, they, that's what they're meant to do. Uh, yeah, like, oh, um, does hey, what kind of what kind of uh, knowledge would I uh, have to use to see what's wrong with him? Like, is there any sort of lore for ogres, or would it have to be a heel check? Because I can't do that. Um, yeah, the heel check. So he's, he's looks quite badly injured. He's um clearly has uh, okay. been beaten a lot. Well, how, how um, does anyone him? does? Can anyone maybe heal him a little before um, we send yeah, him to the meat grinder? Him. I can heal him though it would take my heal away for today. Uh -huh. So it's risky. Don't do that. Though I probably can mm, heal him. Yourself. Well, yeah, um, maybe we should do that because, uh, you know, the longer he stays alive, the longer he's a distraction and the more guards he can probably take out. Good point. 
This is it. You're saying this in front of Grimjack? Yeah, I'd probably heal him. What is it? Um, you just need to cast the spell. It's um, 1d8, is it? For cure light wounds? Do yeah, I get plus. any? 1d8 plus uh, caster level, I think. So that would be 1. 1d8 plus 1 at this point. Plus 1? I thought that was. I thought that was the second cure you get. The cure moderate wounds or whatever it's called. Oh, that's 2d8. Uh, no, that's. That's uh, that's two d eight, oh. and with a higher maximum limit, mm -hmm. because uh, cure light wounds is like one d eight plus caster level max five, cure moderate is two d eight plus caster level max ten, and so on. Yeah, so that's exactly right. Roll d one a plus one. Mhm. Mm It'd be a high number. Four. Well, better than nothing. True. Okay. So now we now he should be a little friendlier to us because we healed him I just and he should to, fight a little um, bit. What's his name? And just touch him and just yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh. Grimjack, thank you. Grimjack, help you escape now. Don't mind, mate. Okay, Grimjack. We need to get outside. Outside is safe. But there are many guard. Yes, we know. We need your help to take them out. Yeah, and you said you wanted to hurt them, so mm -hmm. let's go rip them apart, man. Let's go rip them apart. Don't you want to kill them? Since they beat you so much. Since they beat you so much. Grimjack. Yeah. And little ones go. He not not at you when he says little ones. We'll be right behind you. Yes, we definitely. Is that a bluff check? Well, I uh, will be behind him. I'd, well, maybe not right back. Sure, I bluff check. This is going to go really terrible. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, don't you have completely terrible? No. Don't you have like high, high charisma? No worries. This I have is high going charisma. to go splendidly. It's diplomacy. I can probably do diplomacy. Um, oh, can't you guys can't you guys help him so he gets like a plus two per person helping in a skill check or something? Um, um, yeah, but I think we have to be trained, and I'm not trained in any social skills. Ah, oh, I'm, oh, okay, I'm completely goes. trained in um, social skills. I'm plus eight. Yeah. No, plus seven diplomacy and sociable and. He's an ogre, so his he's, um, sense motive isn't exactly. Well, double figures or anything. And, um, also, you've just helped him out, so he's kind of wanting to believe you anyway, so yeah, that's fine. Um, Grimjack thinks what sun position? Uh, uh sorry, what? Where sun in sky? Sun or moon? He wants oh. to know what time is. Oh, s uh. It's well, uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, uh like afternoon. Is that right? Yeah. When I climbed up on the roof, I I saw what time it was. Yeah, but it's four o'clock, so latest afternoon. Yeah, late afternoon. Grim Jack pauses, clearly thinking very very carefully about something. Oh, oh, wait, actually, you know what, Evening, uh, what we... Better for, night better for sneaking. Get past yeah, the yeah, guard. Yeah, uh, yeah, actually, actually, good point, and that's coming from the ogre. Because you know what we could do? Instead of, like, uh, sending the ogre in and alarming all of the guards, we could wait for the shift to come change and take out just the two guards who are gonna go change, come change the shift. Right, but we don't have to sleep this time. Is that we end no, up but I'm pretty sure. No, but I'm pretty sure that now, right now, we have weapons, we have armor. We yeah, can take two guys, two guys because before they can do anything. Before yeah, we were like barehanded almost. Now we can take two guys. Then I say we wait. Let's just like wait. Uh, wait in room 17 until somebody comes up and jump them. Jump, jump them again. Hmm. 
and we're gonna have uh, like uh, two two more guys out of our way, and it's gonna be night. That's can see in the dark. I say we wait then. Bless people. Yeah, I'm. The only if... risk I see is that we may end up in a in a cornered situation if things go bad. Well, if you think about it, if we take those two guys out, tell the ogre to wait a bit, to wait a few. And then just go on a rampage in the complete darkness, because I don't think they can see in the dark. They're human, so they're terrible in the dark. Yeah, but they probably have lights. Yeah, lights. So what? You can't really do lights against ogres, really, if you think about it. Um. Okay, so uh, we, we should probably take positions and wait until dark. Like, somebody go into room 20 behind the door. I'll do that, and, and I'll sneak out to I'm gonna... Wait, can I ask, does the guards wear helmets? Nope. No. So they would know ah. if we, like, changed, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And they probably don't have any tiefling guards either. I'm the one, who, I'm one of the guys wearing the uniform, the chain shirt. Um, okay, in that case, I'm um, half elf, so I think they'll probably be able to tell unless I cover my ears. Yeah, yeah. Put okay, the, so oh no, wait, the, put the I'm bodies of the guards in room nineteen. Right, put the bodies of the guards in room nineteen. Put the ogre back yes. in room nineteen, and just like I don't know, a couple of you go in there with them as well. You start once I don't know. You get a signal from someone that they're coming. You guys start chatting in there as if you're the guards. They'll come to you. That way they'll be all the way at the end of the corridor. Me and whoever's in room 20 can come out of there and uh, shut the door behind them. And then we, we've we got them trapped in the corridor of uh, 18. Yes, yes, but uh, yes, but they, uh, the guys who are going to come change the shift probably have horns too. We so we matter. really need we to uh, jump. Yeah. But that's before fine. They be sound, before they sound the horn. If we can take them out before they sound the horn, then that's fine. I don't see why we couldn't, to be honest. Um, they wouldn't be expecting us to be free, and I don't think they know that we're an 18B. I mean, they might, but... You know, um, didn't, same... like, a lot of the guards... Didn't, like, a lot of the guards came in earlier with the sergeant? Uh, six yeah. guards and a sergeant. Yeah, so the guys who... Uh, come change the shift, are probably gonna know where we're supposed to be. That's true. Um, yeah, like, that's a good plan too, that we hide in the cells, but, um, my uh, original um, plan was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide in the chimney, someone stand behind the door to room 20, someone stand behind the room, like, to the corridor, uh, to room 17, and as soon as the, uh, guards come up the stairs, Wait. We jump them from all sides. Wait, can I say this? If we okay, if 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 someone in eighteen like pretends to be a guard and say, "Oh, we over, we're over here," like you said, everyone hides. Someone hides in twenty. So you hide in the chimney. Yeah, chimney. yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Which is we're completely we're, then we can flank them. They can do anything. So somebody's okay, so then to be the guards. Um, and try I think to I make them go. come to room eighteen. Because I got high charisma score and all that, so... Yeah, and the thing is, as long as they don't actually walk into 18, they're not gonna see you, so you can just bluff them with your voice. That's gonna work fine. Wait, do I have to so as train? pretty much as soon as they go through the door between room 17 and room 18, we jump them. We all jump them. Okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the chimney. You guys go wherever you want, and I'm gonna squat uh, there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna days. stay out of the way. Can we have our tokens so that we can like place them where we want to be? Yep. Yeah. Where is our tokens? Oh, probably gonna have to make them smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit. <laughs> I didn't. I say you're all playing giants. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all, all ogres. We just we just kick the door open and just smash all the windows. Gregory cast enlarge on all of us. <laughs> yeah. 
Ooh, he's so tiny. Yeah, that, that's about the right size. Yeah, uh, tiny. Uh, that, that one's mine. Uh, I think that ogre's two. Um, how do I how do I move it? Now we I'm have sure to be assigned to the token it. first. I should be assigned. Oh no! Whoops. Uh, right. So, so we've got the rogue is. Uh, that's me. Uh, that's me thing. Slain. Slain. Yep. The starfighter is called Dexter. Yep. The cleric is. Is the cleric say? Me. I'm the cleric. And um, what's your character's name, sir? Dexter. Oh, okay, the cleric's Dexter, whoops. Starfighter is... That's Gregory. Ah, oh, Starfighter's for you. Yeah. Okay, there That's you go, the that should be. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now it's working. Can I, like, fit in that square in the corner of the fireplace? Yeah. Did I move yeah, you're able to fit up Okay, so I'll... So I'm gonna I'm gonna be there. Okay. Where do you want Grumble Jack? Uh, Grumble Jack. I tell him to stay actually. in 19 for a while. Can we put um, him in room 20 with me? No, I don't think I'm. Fit. I don't think he's fitting there. No, not there. Uh, I just tell him to stay in 19. Because the then we can uh, use him to block up the door behind us, so they can't run back don't really matter if you think about it because like two guys come up you, know what? you just still got three dudes that fight yeah you know what uh, just just put him uh, just put him behind the door in room 18 so he can help fight us because as soon as they open the door we jump them it doesn't matter if they see him no, that, because uh, if in that moment they're going to be surprised and we jump them no but if rumble jacks enter the fight he's going to make noise if he makes a big loud stomp, he's gonna make a noise, which will tell you that oh. something happened. Oh right, yeah. Think. Yeah, right. So mm, I would yeah, say yeah, I'd say should... tell him to wait in nineteen for a while. Then he can have yeah, we... then he can have his revenge. Actually, yeah, you're right. Because you he's just right. gonna make a big noise, and we're all fucked. To be honest. Grumble Jack kill guards. Gumball Jack kill guard quietly. Shh. I have complete faith in, in this. Would I be able? Would I be able to? Specimen of a wait. Would I be able to um, persuade him to wait in room nineteen? You can take a diplomacy check. Yeah. Um, my one's plus seven. It's what is it? D twenty. Yeah. D twenty plus seven. Seven name. Grumble Jack, wait here. But Grumble, Grumble Jack, not hurt guard until you say. Sweet. So I just tell him to wait in room 19 until I call him or someone else calls him. Uh, he's yeah. saying he's not going to wait in room 19, but he'll wait there but not attack. Okay then. Don't do that then. Grumble Door, you can, you can join me in room 20. We'll take them from behind. Okay, uh, where do you want Grumble Jack? 18 or 20? I say 18, like on the like left side to 18. Like nowhere he is now, I'd say left a little, and there you go. Up a bit, and then there. Like just outside of the view of the the door. Uh, the entire place is in view of the door because the cells are just bars. I suppose, yeah, I know, but it's like you have to turn a bit to actually see him, if you know what I mean. Um, being an ogre, he's fairly obvious from everywhere. Yeah, I know, but you don't, you've got to turn a little bit of your head, you know, just. Mm. Right. 
after waiting there for just over half an hour, you can hear um, the door creaking below you and the footsteps walking across the door and starting to come up the stairs. Two guards walk up the stairs and are walking across the room to the top right hand corner. Okay, so whoever's in room 18 should call them. So okay, they I'm try walking through the say, door, then we can. I'm gonna say, Oi, we're over here in room 18, 18B, or something like that. Do they think of it as room 18B, like, is that labelled? Uh, no, that's uh, just labelled for. Um, yeah, oh, so just, okay. just, I just say, say we're room 18. Just, <laughs> just, just I'm say, uh, just, I'm just saying, just I'm in here, boys. Uh, I'm in here. But we're in here, sorry. We're in here. My bluff is th plus three. Yeah. You don't need to add bluff. You are, you are indeed in there. Um, oh. Don't you? Well, you're not lying. And oh. they're not really paying oh, attention. Yeah, I don't think you can be lying. They've got no reason to try and sense motive. Okay, so that should work. Yep, they step towards the door and they open the door. Okay, I'll come back time. Surprise round. We jump them. Can I yep, uh, stab so the guy who opened the door? Yep, uh, if we could have rolls for initiative. Um, um, what's right? that? <laughs> That's for me. It's uh, d20 plus your dexterity bonus. Oh god, I have, I have ne right? negative one. I think, uh, is it plus half your level? No, no? not okay. in Pathfinder. So uh, D20 plus your level. So uh God damn it. So wait wait, what is it? Is it dexterity or Oh uh, yeah, so D twenty plus dexterity. Oh, minus one then. Five. So, uh, That's terrible. We all are all terrible initiative. Right. Gregory got eleven. Give me a sec, I'm trying to make a macro for it, and I know there's a special thingy for it. Yep, it's, um, at, I think, oh, it's ampersand, sorry, ampersand. Yeah, it's like ampersand bracket tracker, or something, yep. isn't it? Right, hang on. Yeah, that's uh, it. Oh, okay, it doesn't put it up. Ampersand, okay, tracker. Save changes. And add to bar. Twelve. Yum. Right, so, um, Gregory got six. No, eleven. Oh, eleven. Mm, oh, so I did twice. <laughs> Wait, have we... Can we see any horns on both of them? Horns on who, Si? The on the guards. Oh, right, sorry, I was thinking, um, so it's tiefling horns. Uh, no, um, no, neither of them have horns. No, none of them have horns? Oh, sweet, then let's hit back and slash at them. Slain. God. Uh, I, I reused the they wrong brackets. Well, they have horns? What, what kind of amateur guards are these? Everyone should have signal devices. These guards are really stupid. Dexter's got s Those? No. Most probably the horn was left in plus. room 17. Right. What are you talking about? The no, dude, somebody uh, took it. If you're talking about my stroke, yes, I, I got have. a plus three. If you're talking about my roll, yeah. I got... Well, I mean, if there's only one horn... would we'll probably leave it for the new guys when they left. These guys are assholes, really. Okay, never, never mind, let's keep going. I was just uh, commenting on the fact that... Uh, they don't, like, everyone doesn't have horns, so they can call for reinforcements. Just these guys True. once. Had. True. They still can shout, though. Uh, yeah, Dexter, uh, what did uh, you get for initiative? Uh, five. So pre low. Five. So 
So, uh, Gregory, you're up first. No, oh, somebody got 12. Ah, uh, yeah, I got 12. Slain. Slain. Oh, yes, I. It's Slain, your turn. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm totally. Is it my turn or something? Yep, Slain, you, uh, you're first. Oh, right, cool. Um. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to use my longbow for this, because, like, way more damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, do I get sneak attack because it's surprise right now? Yes. Ooh. Do I get sneak attack with longbow? Yeah, you get yeah. a sneak attack with ranged weapons as long as it's within 30 feet. Awesome. Okay, sneak attack on their mofos. Yeah. Um, does that mean I get plus two or something? Isn't that a surprise as well? If it's sneak and surprise. No, they have a lower AC because they're flat-footed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they lose their um, dex bonus to AC and any dodge yep. bonus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember correctly, right. So it's all coming back to me. Okay, so does that mean that I get a plus for surprise or not? You don't get a You don't get a plus, the they, they get a negative. They don't... Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's okay. a normal roll to hit, and then extra sneak attack damage. Okay, so uh, was that a hit? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, 11. Uh, if they're wearing chain shirts, that's not a hit. Uh, nope. No, that ain't a hit. Shit. Oh well. Fair enough. Okay, Gregory, now your turn. Uh, I'm gonna cast the chill touch, but I'm gonna keep it in my hands. Okay. Okay. It would be their turn, but you've got a surprise round. So, Theo, your turn. I'm gonna move up behind the guy, <laughs> and I'm gonna kick him in the back kick because him. I got super elite martial arts skills. Yeah, yeah, I got. I'm a brawler. I got one d six improved um, unarmed damage. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, but if you want to hit. Yeah, hold on, I'm just checking my attack bonus. It's your strength, isn't it? Yeah, it's strength plus base attack bonus, so it's plus five. Which is mine? I think I know I got a plus three. Seventeen damage. Oh, that might hit him. Yep, yeah, that hits. Ooh. Okay, let's roll damage. So that's one d six plus uh, strength plus four. Nice. Oh, that's a good. What does it take to crit, by the way? A. Depends on the weapon. Uh, oh. With most weapons, it takes a 20. Some weapons have a larger critical range. Like, uh, most swords have 19 to 20, and some really precision weapons have 18 to 20. Ooh, max damage! <laughs> Ooh, damn. Yep. I can hear me in the spine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, have a nice crunching sound as you, uh, oh, certainly crack a few ribs. Uh, Dexter, your turn. Ah, yes. I want to move. I think I'm a little yep. too big and stab that guy. Yep. So, if I'll for <coughs> hit. Um, it's 1d... Plus three, ain't it? One twenty plus. Uh, what's your? Strength? I think you've got strength bonus of plus four. Uh, do I? No, I think I've got a three. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Go. Ah, oh, you got to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, not your day. That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, next is Grumblejack's turn. Are you allowing him to attack? No, I'm not. I'm just. Well, um. No. Oh wait, uh, he's a large creature, so he has reach, right? Yeah, so he, he can... could attack over mm -hmm. his head. He could. Yeah. No. So don't are you that. gonna tell him to do it or no? No, don't. Don't risk it. He's a giant. He could fucking do anything. Um. Okay. If you do it, you alert him, and we'll be fucked otherwise. Okay, uh, slain. Okay, um...